Hello everybody, Fuck here. Welcome back to more Battle of Z. And I'm going to start going through all the missions on camera once I reach over, excuse me, and turn down my TV a bit so you guys don't hear audio feedback. It means I won't be able to hear it, but that's not important. I've already equipped Goku again because I've been using other ones because I'm further in the game. But we're going to go right back. Mission 1. I don't know how many missions I'm going to cover in each video. Basically, it just depends how long they take. Some of the missions are actually pretty damn hard. That's also partly why I've gone back to mission one. I want to grind some more cards so I can get better equipment on later characters. Because I'm kind of stuck <laughs> on, a, on a... It's actually a bit of a cheesy difficulty fight, but still. So this is the same as what was in the demo. So I'm going to try and go through really, really quick for these first four. Although I did only cover the first two in my look at video. Uh, well, the, the demo playthrough, I mean. Because it was very short notice. Anyway, so we'll run around here. And if you aren't familiar with the buttons, if you didn't catch my demo playthrough, this will at least familiarise yourself if you read the subtitles, because I'll be talking over Goku for the most part. Just telling me how to dash, which I already know how to do. There's some things this tutorial doesn't tell you that it really should, like one, how to get ultimate attacks, and two, how to use them, because the Kamehameha is actually just a special, it's not an ultimate. And also, it never teaches you how to teleport when you're getting attacked, which I think is massively important later on. I'm already flying, Goku. I'm already flying. But there you go. Ascend, descend, ascend, and then descend, and then you do both. Now bring on the Cybermen. Right here. Okay, here we go. Luckily these guys just stand there and let you hit them. Now hopefully I can just attack, because it won't. I already know how to log on, lock on, not log on. I know how to do that too. Maybe. Yep, I've already changed targets. How many times do you want me to do it? There. And now there'll be a second wave somewhere. Where is it? Hello, salad shuriken. Oh wait, no, you're offline. Never mind. Oh, these ones actually attack. Fine. Attacking the enemy increases the SP. Now, will it let me get away with casting my special? Let's test. Oh, it totally will. <laughs> bit overkill, but still. So there's my meteor impact. Oh, I know, strike impact, my bad. I was thinking of the Super Saiyan form. And blast spark as well. How many more do I need to do? There. And it doesn't teach you about his Kaoken attacks either for that. Mar. I'll do another one of them, and then I'll do another melee one, and that should finish him off. Oh, okay, you're just gonna withstand the hit for some reason. That's fine too. More. This is the last wave for this mission, I think. Wow, he didn't get up. Where's he there? Yep, ah, now it tells you. So there he's. Standard Goku's got a kind of force push, and then he also has a Kaoken attack, which goes further the longer you charge it. At least that's what it appears to me to be. I wonder if you can do a secondary hit after that primary one makes it. Well, damn. I'll find out in the next one. Oh, you can. You totally can. You can keep on using it as long as you have key. See, it didn't teach me that either. But that is going to conclude the first mission. We are just going to jump straight into mission two, so do not worry. Well, as fast as I can after the, the load. I'm joined by Krillin in the next mission. I'm not going to bother equipping him because I don't need to. It's just against more Sabermen. Oh, we might get an energy share. Nope, not this time. I did try, by the way, to go online to do like a co-op mission playthrough. I mean, it's the same missions, it's just you'd be playing with other folk, right? But unfortunately, because this is still pre-release, other than in Japan, I can't seem to find anybody. I can't seem to host a game, I can't seem to join a game. But that's what I wanted, more cards, so I have more to like give out to all my team, because unfortunately, my cards just aren't good enough for the fights I'm up to in the story mode. I'm also going to try and do them in order, so that includes basically doing, uh, say, the Saiyan Saga as the good guys, and then doing the Saiyan Saga as the bad guys. So, Mysterious Enemy, me and Krillin, we're just going to jump straight in. I'm going to get through this really quickly. I'm going to try and maybe do the first four in this first video, and that will be a good chunk of the Saiyan Saga out of the way. Your allies are specialised. Yep, I covered that in my Let's Look At. I remember that. I like that it tells you about some characters' unique abilities in this game, like the super form of Trunks when he's massive trying to fight Cell, that, that can actually break guards, but he's obviously super slow. A mysterious enemy in the form of... Saberman. It's not that mysterious, considering Goku just fought like half a dozen of them. 
but still, it's easing in combat. This is the bit that tells you about. No, actually, that's the next. The next fight tells you about how to heal your allies and revive them in combat. I've actually forgotten how you revive people. I know how to heal people, but I need to be reminded how to revive them because that's been screwing me over in later fights as well. Since if you don't know to the left of the energy bar, see where it says that number two. That is how many team revives you have. So if I go down twice, if someone else goes down, that's it. But if Krillin was to go down twice, then that's also it. So the AI uses up your own retries in a fight, which is a bit bad because they're not massively great. Although I think that may be pertinent to their team level and that gets raised by just having them in fights. That's also something you can avoid by doing co-op. I may switch to co-op halfway through because the game will be out in the UK a few days after I'm started recording this. And once again I was given a review copy. Krillin, join! Krillin, hit it! Ah, oh, hang on, if I tell you to concentrate on combining our powers, maybe you will this time. Let's see, let's see if we can get Krillin to do his job. Or I could just accidentally kill it outright, that's fine too. Uh, yep. Come on, just shoot out there. Oh. I want to kill Ken. I forgot that I wanted to try doing more than one attack, but unfortunately both enemies are now concentrating on me. So I'm going to have to kill one of them. Or get knocked miles. Fine, I'll do it this way. Luckily I've got high level cards equipped, so I've got lots of HP and can kind of just take the hits. Right, now I'm going to wait until Krillin... Attack him, Krillin. Go on, go full power. Distract him for me for like a second. I don't think there's any deflection mechanic, which is unfortunate. I really like being able to deflect attacks in Raging Blast 2. I mean, you had to time it perfectly. Let me try it. No. Fire one more at me, or not. That's fine. Ah, yeah, you can just keep on doing Kyokan attacks. Huh. You need to have the energy bar for it, but still. That's him gone. Let's do you next. Oh, I used up all my energy. Krillin, concentrate on defense. Support me. Also, stop being so, like, having such a bloodlust. It's totally out of character. And, no, oh, he's not dead. There he is. I got my energy bar filled from Grillin, so that's fine. No, it's kind of a two, a two for attack you can do with the kill there. And that's him down. Oh, there's more. I wonder if I can do that stop energy blast. Probably can. You dead? There you are. And here comes Reddits. I actually forgot that he turned up at the end of this one. Okay. And once again, you did see this in my demo play for it, but that was a little while ago now, so... Plus I know what I'm doing this time, where I was kind of just experimenting. You killed my father, prepare to die. And he's targeting me, but that's kind of okay, because Krillin would just get himself killed. Bounce him back, Krillin. Bounce him back. No. No, you're not going to do that. Okay. I want more practice at this as well. Getting close to enemies while they target me, because I can't always rely on the AI, unfortunately. No. Krillin knocked him over, but okay. Let's see if I can land a few more hits to get a special here. Although I think I get my bar filled automatically once I weaken him to finish him off with a Kamehameha. Let's try and juggle him again. You can actually keep that combo going pretty long. Bounce him, Krillin. Krillin, bounce him. Oh, Krillin, you suck. I've got him set back to try and coordinate attacks again, see if that does anything. Probably won't. Let's kill him, Raditz, because breaking, breaking how things are supposed to go is fun. Oh, that pulse didn't hit him. Or maybe it did, actually. I wish there was throws. That'd be fun. Right, he's getting near there now. Go on. Krillin, go. Krillin! Ah, oh, screw it. Just attack him. Just go full power. That's what you get for blocking. Stop talking about being married. We're having a fight to the death. There we go. Redeem yourself, Krillin. Redeem yourself! 
Ah. Also, my energy is low now, so I'm going to have to rely on melee attacks. And of course, he blocks them. I'm not actually sure which moves Goku has that break guards. I'm guessing the Kaoken would. Yeah. But it's standard attacks, though. Oh, now you're telling me how to do it. Fine, 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 fine. Here we go. Right in his face. Poor old Raditz. Oh, I've got bonus 10 grand. Nice. I'm not sure what gives you those special bonuses. They just seem to randomly appear sometimes. Maybe it's based on getting a double S rank, actually. Now I think about it. Anyway, so that was mission 2. We'll just jump straight into mission 3, which is Gohan's training against Piccolo. Unless we get an energy share first. We may do. Are we gonna? Nope, not this time. Actually, maybe you can't until you do the third mission. We'll get our double S rank, we'll get a new rank, we'll get new cards, which is the important part. Uh, they're not great though. And once again, well actually no, I'll have to equip Gohan because Goku is not involved in this next fight. You can't pick him, unfortunately. But that's okay. We'll go mission start, we'll go to mission three, and yeah, it forces you to use these people. So I'll go to Gohan, customize. And I'll make him really powerful. I'm going to use automatically set the strongest cards, including those equipped by other characters. Do it. Cards on it. Yep, that's fine. So there we go. He is now uber strong. In in theory. But I didn't give him special cards, so I guess that doesn't change equipment. What can I give him? Um, knockback distance up. I don't actually like knockback. As HP is reduced, special is increased. No, you know what? He doesn't need any special stuff for this mission. Just confirm, and we're just going to go. His power level is now like six times everybody else's. That's the number below their picture. But that's fine. I don't need other people. I can handle Piccolo with just this, in theory. Thankfully, the load times aren't overly long most of the time. So we should just get straight into it. Hellish training. I'm going to take a drink as we listen to Piccolo talk to Gohan. In a second. <laughs> There may be more than one enemy. We'll start your training at once. Yes, Mr. Piccolo. <laughs> so this is the point here. You have to get used to fighting more than one person at once. However, it's very hard to do that. And you'll see because Piccolo kicked my ass at the start here. You basically can't help it because they team attack you. Um, yeah, like that. <laughs> I can get some hits in though, kind of. But I think he doesn't take any considerable damage yet. No, he doesn't. Although, thankfully, they can't really hurt me either because the cards have gone equipped. Oh, there we go, he's team attacking me now. And they've got their energy bar up nice and high. So it should trigger a cutscene in a second. Yep, like that. And then some friends appear to even the score a little bit. Okay. Aren't you being a little harsh, Mr. Piccolo? He is. Let's kick his ass. We're a lot better than you think we are. Yeah, I don't know about that, Yamcha. I'll take on all four. It's now four on two, and I'm going to just set them to full power. Just get in there. Let's kick some ass, or or get beat around the bush a little bit, but let's see if we're actually do a chase. I think this is the match we get taught about doing that, so we should have a high priority of doing it. See, I want to focus on the Piccolo that's wounded, but another Piccolo is after me. Oh wait, it's about to teach me something. That's why they're standing still and blocking. Stop talking about porn, Krillin! <laughs> I'm not sure what that attack of his does. It go seems to do nothing. Weird. Alright, so oh, yes, I need to go share energy with Krillin because he's a uh, numpty. There. So that's just targeting someone with R3. I'm using the PS3 controller in case you aren't aware. And then firing your key blast with circle. Let's see if I can knock that one out. I think I did. So that's one down. 
Now the next story event that should happen is Yamcha getting one shot because he's Yamcha. Yep, there we go. But this is the part I need reminded of. How do I revive people? I haven't targeted. I know I can't do it at range. What do I do? I'll just fly around them until I get told. I will. Tell me how. Lock on to a downed ally and press triangle while you're close to use revival sword. Does that use up one of my revives though? No it doesn't. So it's just triangle when you're close rather than circle. I shall try and remember that because I need to know it for later on. See if we can team attack him. Or at very least chase him. Come on somebody follow up. Oh you suck! Their team levels will be pretty low I suppose after using much of them. Oh there we go. The last two went down at the same time I think. Now. Although now it's just one piccolo and he powers up. What I remember anyway. Let's see. Or is it still two? No, no, it's just the one. He's using his... What are they called again? Hellzone grenades? If you let him use it again, the heat seek on whoever he's locked onto, so that's why you want to get in there and stop him, ideally. Here, take this. Lock on to the same enemy your allies locked on to activate link block on. Yeah. I think I'm doing that. We're all locked onto the pickerel. Now the meteor chain is what I've been trying to do this whole time. Unfortunately we can't knock him into the air from there because he's constantly getting knocked into the ground. <laughs> Let's try that again. Right now we've got him. Now we'll do it. Right, follow up. Yeah, there we go. I'm not entirely sure what to do once the chain finishes though. It implies you can do a special attack but it doesn't tell you how to do it. Let's see if I can catch it this time. Oh no. Somebody didn't do it. Whatever. Go up with allies to increase the gorge. Something, something great will happen if you max it with gorge. Okay. Well, let's see if we can do that. I want to see this something great. They're not cooperating with me. Oh, <laughs> there he goes again. Chase him. My turn. Someone else do it. Anytime you're ready, guys. No, you're not going to do it. Okay, that's fine. Don't let him do it again. Hmm. I kind of want to do it because I just want to see if it gives me another tutorial message, but he's going to go down. There he goes. Finish me style. Oh, I don't have quite enough to do my special anymore. Or just headbutt him in the chest. That's a Namek secret weakness. So, we're nearing the 20 minute mark here, so I think I'll do one more. I'll fit in four missions this time around. And the next mission is the same team against Nappa, I believe. And and some Sabermen, possibly. Can't quite remember. Okay, I'll probably get sheer energy this time, because I'm pretty sure this is where it teaches you what it is. Don't prove me, don't prove me wrong, game. I just did this like four hours ago. No? Yeah. Okay, we're going to get taught about this. Sharing energy, etc. No need to be scared, though. That's How do you know that? If you send your energy towards, send your energy, pathway, energy towards the pathway, you'll be able to share some of your energy with another warrior fighting somewhere in the world. Probably Japan at this point. On the flip side, sometimes we get the same energy from the world as well. You know, give and take. I'm not sure when that happens. Sometimes they do get randomly healed, however. I thought it was my teammate sharing it with me. Maybe it was just like the world energy thing. Anyway... Give me the give me the press, thank you. And we'll just share. I don't think using your special ability actually makes it go faster, so I'm just gonna ram the circle button here and I should get one hundred pretty easily, which is the most you can get in one energy share. I'm running out of time slightly, but oh I didn't actually have enough energy myself to get to hundred. Seventy two energy is not bad. And now we'll get the mission over screen. Yep. And hopefully get some good cards, because that's what I'm after really. Give me some good cards. Don't even care about. I got two levels there. I think they're all plus ten. That ain't great. But having more cards is good as well because that means the teammates can get buffed up a bit. Right. Back to select, please. Thank you. Mission and mission four. Nappa and Saberman indeed. So I could probably go to say who do I want to be extra powerful? Like he's at one eighty now, so I could go to customize, auto customize and do set B which is strongest cards that aren't currently equipped and there we go. I had quite a few that weren't equipped so he's got, oh I have to save the changes, I keep forgetting to do that. So he's gone up to 260 from 180. It's not a huge difference but it is a difference. Uh, would you like to start the mission? Yes I would please. 
So now we're going to have Nappa on the field as well as Cyberman. They might all pick it pick on me when the fight starts. That seems to be a habit the AI has, which is a pretty hard thing to deal with. I may just block and teleport for a while. That's my best defense so far, because if they get behind you, you're blocked useless. But we'll see. The Fearsome Saiyan, otherwise known as Baldy. And here we come, and then he will already be there. Yeah, there he is. Ooh. I love that he has the exact same intro that he had in the anime. I like that touch. Okay, so the red one is obviously tougher than the green one. Now let's see here. I'm going to lock on and I'm just going to teleport. At least one thing is on me and it's the red Saberman. So let's see if I can deal with this. Well, that's a good way to start anyway. He's half dead. Oh, someone else is hitting me from behind. And someone linked the chain at least. I missed. It's getting close. He's down. So two green Cybermen left. Yep. Didn't like that. Oh, chase him. Someone finish him ideally. Nope. Nope. Yes. Yep, someone did. And I'm not going to waste my special on a Cyberman. Especially not a tier 1. Right, where's Nappa? Take this. That did a lot of damage because he, was, he wasn't expecting it, he wasn't blocking. He flinched, everybody flinched, and he's trying to get in close to do his all that, I think. So it's the finger thing. Don't know what else to call it. Oh, is he doing it? No. That was his burn Tien's arm off technique he was doing there. Oh, I broke your guard. He is still locked onto me. Oh, he's doing his ult. Oh, I knocked him away just in time. What I don't like is the computer, or at least in the story mode anyway, when they're going to do their ult, they become invincible for the most part. They don't flinch, which is a pain in the ass. Oh, he's about to do his, so I'm about to do mine. As far as I'm aware, there's no power struggles, but none that those would power struggle, because his is like a barrier and mine is a blast. We might find out sooner or later. It might happen. Statistically, it's likely to at some point or another. And this is going to finish him off. No, it's not. He's going to do it again. Did that do it? Nope, because no cutscene. This will do it. Right through the chest. Oh, and we got a 50,000 bonus there. I'm not sure. I, I guess it means I got double S rank. Well, that must be what the bonus is, although I'm not sure why it's sometimes higher than others like in the pre well I guess mission difficulty possibly applies implies applies whatever give me energy okay another energy request give me the circle button and I shall spam away see how much we can get this time see if we can get up to 100 I don't think so there's not enough energy in the bar sadly but it'll help someone else out playing currently there's 53 energy for you in theory all right and as we go back to the mission menu, that's going to conclude this first part of my playthrough of the story mode of Battle of Z. Got four missions in, there's plenty more, there's at least 40 odd in total, so... Yep, and we'll get... Oh, I've got a most impressive achievement, or trophy rather. And good ranks, good cards? Oh, three passive ones, interesting. Anyway, if you want to support the series, please consider liking the video, subscribing, or commenting, and we'll see what happens. Stay tuned for more Dragon Ball Z and more gaming stuff in general. There's plenty more missions to do. Next time we'll be taking on Nappa again. Ta-ta for now.